Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. Alright, so today I bring you guys an Iron Man video once again. Uh, this is going to be loot from 3000 Werewolves. The goal is to make as much money as possible and obtain as many level 2 clue scrolls as possible as well. Uh, looking at the wiki, it did show uh, level 1 clue scrolls were on the drop table as well, but I guess that's for a different type of werewolf because I didn't actually encounter any easy clue scrolls during this video so i'll have to double check on that one but yeah we can definitely expect some mediums so uh, we'll be saving all those caskets for the end at the price check and the gear for this video once again i still haven't upgraded to bandos but don't worry i'm in the works of it uh it's just a set of full obsidian with a dragon fire shield for a little extra defense and the uh, main weapon was a whip and i'll be training defense the whole time so we should reach a million milestone in defense in this video since 3000 werewolves is quite a bit of experience to gain. Originally, I was going to do this for 10 hours, but I was only getting about 100 kills an hour here because it's a lot slower than you think, uh, even with this gear and this combat level. So that's why I decided to kill 3,000. Yes, I did spend just the shy of 30 hours doing this on the side while I was working on uh, Alchemical Hydra on my main account, as well as a few other videos since this has taken quite a long time. So I couldn't finish this in time to upload it yesterday. That's why it's going up today. But but uh, what a grind it was, especially because I was picking up every single wolf bone. Because if you think about the drop table of the werewolf, there's really not a lot going on. And the price of a wolf bone is actually pretty decent. So we're going to be saving all those bones, picking up 3,000 of them, as well as any normal fur drops. Uh, the gray wolf fur is not worth that much money. I think it's like 70 or 50 GP. However, the normal fur drop, which I guess is still related to the werewolf, is about 636 GP. So I will definitely be picking all of those up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it on my Iron Man account, but yeah, I guess I'll have a lot of fur in the bank. Stay a little warmer in the winter, I suppose. Terrible joke. So uh, either way, there's a few alkables on the drop table, which is why you see that rune pouch. And I actually got a decent amount of magic XP throughout this video because of all the high alks. I'm looking at my rune light drop table now. And yeah, it looks like I high alked about 19 rune med helms. That's no doubt the best uh, drop that you can get from these werewolves in general. I also got about 54 mithril square shields and 61 mithril chain bodies to high alk, so that was a decent amount of coins. And then the only other alkables are three steel items, that being the steel scimitar, steel full helm, and the steel axe, which uh, in combined, that was about 400 more high alk. So that's uh, really where all the GP came from. And they also have coin drops, but they don't drop too many of them, but I did pick them up manually. I didn't go with a ring of wealth this video because I wanted to kill as many as I could, so it was just smarter to use the berserker ring imbued. And I did use a cannon towards the end for about 300 kills then i figured i was just wasting way too many cannonballs so yeah i wouldn't advise using a cannon here but if you are on a slayer task and you, you do decide to actually kill these things then yeah probably smart to bring a cannon but since i was killing so many i didn't see it as a long-term investment i did get a few clue scrolls early on in the video and i only couldn't complete one because it did require the quest uh rat catchers to be at least uh midway completed and i didn't even have a pet cat so i just decided to drop that one but luckily that was the only one that I couldn't complete so all the other medium clues were completed and a little strange fact about this area it seemed to me that like almost every hour there'd be an impling that would spawn in Canifus Center and this could be anywhere from like a magpie eclectic or nature impling or of course any other impling but those are the ones that I mainly saw so anytime I did encounter them I just caught them barehanded and uh, you know I actually got another medium clue scroll from an eclectic impling so that was nice uh, the overall drop rate for a medium clue scroll from a werewolf is about 1 in 512. It's kind of embarrassing, but I thought that was 1 in 128. I must uh, be having some problems with my vision lately, so that actually explains why I didn't really receive as many mediums as I thought I would. But nevertheless, a medium clue is just extra profit, so uh, it's unfortunate that I won't be receiving as many as of like up to 20 or 30, which I was really going for here. But I guess I'll still end with like, you know, 5, 6, or 7. So I'll take it. Uh, hopefully get some ranger boots or some some uh, holy sandals. I'm, I'm missing that from my Iron Man account, so those would be really useful for prayer bonus. But either way, speaking of prayer, I'm sure I'll be using these 3,000 wolf bones in the wilderness at the Chaos Altar. I know it's like so inefficient, it seems like a waste of time, but I think I'll probably just do a follow-up video of 10 hours of protecting my Iron Man at the Chaos Temple, this time using a Void Waker, since uh, that was updated post that video's release. So we'll see how that goes. I'll probably be doing that either this month or next month. I really have to get 
my prayer level up on the Iron Man account, and every little bit helps. All those insult heads and all of the bones in the bank uh, definitely should be reaching closer to 90 prayer from my initial level of 83 right now. I did run into a few people while making this video, and most of them wished me good luck. Uh, a couple of them said some weird things that I couldn't include in this video, but you know who you are. Uh, either way, though, this guy seemed to be pretty friendly. Uh, I thought, I guess he thought I was a Jersey boy. I am not. I am a Floridian, but yeah, ignore the comments about Wheel of Fortune. That's just, you know, just my favorite show. But either way, uh, this was a video that I've always wanted to do. I kind of put it on the back burner, kind of like Water Fiends and my future Loot from 3000 Mummy video, just because I know they're not going to be the most popular upload, but it is a monster that I've never covered before. And I just want to mark it off the list, you know, the long list of monsters that you can see on this channel. Finally, we can mark werewolves off, because believe me, ladies and gentlemen, once you kill 3,000 of these, you'll never, ever want to kill another one again, let alone see another one again. Yeah, there's really not too much to say about werewolves. I do remember that uh, when I was a kid, I would always throw ice bursts at them. As soon as I unlocked ancient magics through desert treasure, I would teleport to Canifus, and the first thing I would kill with it is werewolves, which goes to say that you can safe spot them in the bank. You can just uh, direct them across a table, and you can continue to range or mage them if you are a lower level. If you're a higher level, then uh, I would just use melee here. I usually always used a superset and one food, and I'd be good for a full inventory. Uh, prayer was always on preserve, so that way my stats stayed boosted for longer. And overall, that's about it. I'd say I wouldn't really change much about how I killed them, other than maybe if I wanted to use range, I'd use a blowpipe here, but it would probably be similar speeds, and it's not multi-combat or anything, so the cannon is only good for so long. But one cool milestone is that I finally reached another defense level milestone, or I should say XP milestone, of 22 million. I think I gained like 1.4 million defense XP throughout this video. It was either 1.2 or 1.4, so yeah, it's it's really a lot to kill these werewolves. I guess I underestimated this one, but at the end of the day, at least I got a nice coin stack, and uh, I'll do something with those bones and with those uh, amounts of fur, I guess. They also drop uh, sapphires and emeralds and rubies, but that's like one in a thousand, so I got a couple of gems, and the same goes for the herbs, like one in 700, one in 2,000, so I got a couple of those, but overall, not really much to show for the drops. Most of it was all high out, but at 2,800 KC, we still have uh, five medium clues banked, so hopefully we get one or two more, and if not, that's okay too. It seems to be on drop rate, so it's not too bad, and uh, hopefully that'll spark some uh, luck, and we'll get some good profit from the medium clues on top of the loot. Overall, though, hope you guys have been doing well. Uh, really excited about the Alchemical Hydra video that I have planned for you guys tomorrow. That should be a hit. It's so much fun. I brought high alks there this time, so I'm capitalizing on all the kills and inventory, and on all those Slayer points that I just banked. So yeah, really excited about that. Uh, Iron Man is thriving. I'm actually working on some Ardone Roof Course Agility right now on him, trying to get some agility levels for a future Hollowed Sepulchre video. Sepulchre is how you pronounce that. My apologies. But yeah, overall, what a uh, interesting video, killing 3,000 werewolves. Never again, but I'm glad I did it uh, so that I can say that I know everything about the werewolf, you know, in case I ever get that question of Rootscape trivia. You never know. Now it is time for the price check, ladies and gentlemen. Then I'm going to wrap this video up and I'm going to finish season one of Severance. It's an incredible show on Apple TV. Give it a shot if you haven't seen it yet and you have Apple TV available. Directed by Ben Stiller. All right, so 3,000 bones have been banked. 556 fur as well. That is incredible. Overall loot from 3,000 werewolves does come out to be 2.5 mil, 1.6 mil in the bones, and just about 350k in the fur. So yeah, 2 mil of that 2.5 was just in those two drops. The rest of it is really just from the Alks. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, well, not the greatest money per hour. I would say 2.5 mil in like 30 hours. Yeah, it's not quite even 100k GP an hour, but maybe from these medium clue scrolls, we can up that GP an hour uh, or even get some collection log slots. I will certainly take that black unicorn mask. Uh, I'm not so happy with the green boater, though. It's truly not my style, as well as the, uh, what is that, adamant plate body H5? Well, I guess it's a collection log. I'll take that. I did actually get one of the missing armadillo pages that I need. I think it was page one, so now I'm only missing page three, and with that, another 110k made from the medium clue scrolls, so not a lot of luck there, but I'll take it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is about it for this one. Not the most exciting video, but now you know that werewolves are 
definitely, under any circumstance, not worth it to kill. I truly believe their drop table needs to be looked at and fixed, but that's probably never going to happen. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens uh, in the future, though. A lot of monsters to come, I'm sure, with this new skill. And with that being said, a big thank you to the YouTube channel members for your extra support. Special shout out to Matthew Stivers and Swan Positive. All right, guys, thank you very much for everything. And until next time, Mr. No Sleep out.